Today we're going to talk about how to build a greenhouse and uh, I think I'm going to put in a lot of tips and uh, little nuggets that uh, will help you when, if you go to build your own greenhouse. I suggest you build it out of metal instead of PVC. Uh, I'll put a link to another video here on how I bend the metal but uh, the cost is almost no difference but uh, today we'll show you some nuggets on how to build uh, a greenhouse. We've, I've got Diego and his family here to uh, they picked up a kit for uh, they're gonna build a greenhouse and so I want to go over how to to build a greenhouse and so we'll film some of this so maybe that'll help some of you guys uh, I, I did a video already on how we bent the pipe for the frame of the greenhouse and we made the post and I'll, I'll post that video here but uh, we're going to talk about now how to square up this this greenhouse is going to be 12 foot by 28 foot correct yes so the way you square is you use a three four five triangle that's how you get your square and you can use any combination of that size so in your case you want to go 28 foot right so you you would take uh, seven times four is 28 right so you would we put a post in the ground and you measure out 28 feet and then what's 7 times 3 21 so you would measure 21 out this way and put a stake and you put a stake at each end and at 28 foot and at 21 foot in between it'd be 7 times 5 so be, the angle should be 35 feet. If you don't have 35 feet, if you got 34 and a half or whatever, you got to bring those stakes in so you got 35 feet. Once that's 35, 28, and 21, you've got a right angle. That's how you square. So here you've got 21 feet, right? So you can measure out 12 foot and put your other post. Because that'll be your two 12 foot posts. And down here you can put your 28 foot post once you've got the dimensions correct. That's your right angle and then you go to the opposite corner and you do the same thing. So you can kind of measure over 12 feet and kind of get an idea of where you think the post is going to be but do the same triangle opposite and that will give you exact point where to put your last post. That's how you square up okay. a greenhouse. And these posts are designed, uh, you can see one end is open and one end, one end, the cut end, the cut end isn't always as clean. That's the end you just put in the ground. And the best way I found to do this is uh, you, have, you don't have rock there, you've got dirt, right? Yeah. So just put a two by four on here, take a sledgehammer and hammer it down. That way you're not you don't want to you don't want to bend this edge of the pipe up. So if you put a two by four, it's soft enough that it won't bend the pipe, but it's strong enough that you can hammer it down. Hammer it down. And if if your land is nice and flat, you can mark these at two foot and drive it down to two foot. If you got a little bit of a and you'd be surprised, you could be off six inches and it looks flat to you. So you got it. You got to make sure, and then that. Um, so you could also run a string on top on your two. If you get your first two posts in, you can run a string and a, a line level and make sure everything is. Yeah. Okay. So everything's the same height because when you go to put in the ribs, you're gonna put the ribs in, and, and I've shown the ribs are marked at six inches on each end. So the ribs you. You, you put the ribs together, there's a, a tapered end and a regular end, and you put those together, and then you want to sit them, so you've got your two end posts here, right, in the ground, you want to do all these posts first. You want to put one end in six inches on this pipe, and then you want to bring the other one in and set it inside the other pipe, just on the ground, so that your your because those if you if you just screwed them in now they're going to be maybe 14 feet they're not 
they're not the 12 foot arc that you need. So you want to put them inside your pipe before you screw the two together. You understand what I'm saying? You look like you don't the, understand. Um, yeah, the, so these posts are in the ground. In the, yeah. And now I'm talking about the ribs. Yeah, you want to put in the ribs before you screw them. You want to, so when this is in the ground, you want to put one rib here, and, and you put them together, and the other rib's going to be beyond. You're going to pull it in so that they're both inside, so that these, these two ribs... So these two ribs are going to be like, or these two posts are going to be like this, and you're going to put the rib in between them. Then, then you screw them together because that's how they're going to live, and you want you want to screw them together in the arch that they're going to be. You don't want to screw them together the way they are right now. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Then they're marked at six inches. Then you stick them in here to that mark and then you put screws in and, and you hold them. Now the, on the end, you want to put the screws on the inside. The posts that are in between, it doesn't matter which side you screw them on because you don't want the bolts, the heads out here where the plastic's going to be. You want to put it on the inside and the same on the other end. So, that, so these go in first, then you're going to screw all the pipes together ribs together and then you're going to put them in here now you set up your first one now if they're all if the ground's level and everything's at two foot you're going to be pretty close because you want somebody on a back of a pickup truck or something when you go to put the second one in just kind of eyeball it and make sure because what will happen is if you put this one down an extra inch and this one's up a little bit or the ribs won't be perfect and so it's always good to have somebody eyeball and say bring the left side up a little bit and it might not exactly be on the mark just eyeball it make sure it looks pretty even and then screw them together and just do that for each one make sense yep. okay so that's how you square it and that's how you, you build the ribs now the one pipe I don't have because you can get it down there it's called a purlin and I'll show you what that is, but that's the pipe that goes down the middle. So 28. You, they don't make them 28. Uh, you probably get 10 footers. Mm -hmm. They're, they come 10 foot, uh, nine inch, uh, 10 foot six inches at, at Home Depot chain link fence pipe. Or if you go to a fence company, I don't know, you guys have an American fence? Yes, yeah, there, there, there are a few places. There. Yeah, they, you can get them as long as 24 foot. So you get a, a 20 footer or 20 to 12, to 12. Well, you get a 20 footer and a 12 footer and that'll do it. And you screw those together and then put them up and then uh, you go to Home Depot and you, and you buy the, the two and three quarter inch hose clamps and you clamp them together. To the inside. To the inside. I'll show you in here how you, you screw them together and that'll hold perfect. So let's go show you how to build the rib. Okay. So this long pipe, that's the purlin. And then when you go to clamp them together, you just make sure, because sometimes these will be a little bit, you know, you just want to make make sure that they're- 90 degrees. Four, no, well, four foot apart. Oh, okay. And uh, if you notice, you see there's duct tape. You want to put white duct tape over the top of the pipe. Because what happens is the sun is really hard. In fact, you can see here where there was a seam. Mm -hmm. It burns it. Yeah, it'll burn it. So your plastic will last a lot longer if you put, because that metal gets hot, but by putting the white duct tape on, it keeps it cooler. And then here, see that's the hose clamp. And when you get the pipe in, I do one end and then I do, I kind of do one loose here not real tight so you can move the pipe and then one at the other end so you got your 28 foot and if you have to cut it or whatever you might want to grind the end so it doesn't cut the plastic because mm -hmm. you're gonna have plastic up against the end but otherwise it's fine and then just come through and and screw them all down and once you screwed them down that's fine and then I take uh, 
you know the aluminum tape, the silver tape? Mm -hmm. If you can tell, like mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's good. And then when I screw them, see how those are screwed? All right, I've got the screws back here. Mm -hmm. I like to put the tape around there too. One, it keeps critters and stuff getting inside, but it also helps protect the plastic when the wind blows it. And so you want to buy some of that aluminum tape, that metal tape. I'm, I guess it's aluminum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take all the pictures you you want, no problem. But but that's how you make the rib. Okay. Then the next thing is you want to make the ends, and I just use wood. Um, just make a wood frame and then the doors uh, I just put screen doors on them and the mm -hmm. cheapest screen doors actually have the biggest screen and the big window so you can let air flow through they're like a hundred and five bucks or something so I like to put those on but frame the door get everything framed and 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 so everything needs to be framed before you put on the plastic and then to hold the wood in now if you can see here you know what plumber's tape is? The metal... Let me show you here. See the straps? See the tape? The Oh, yes. So that's how um, I just put that like over the pipe tape. and mm -hmm. screw it down. Mm -hmm. And that that's good enough to hold... Uh, and see here on the very end how I use the, the metal tape mm -hmm. to keep it from hurting the plastic? Or ripping the plastic up and then wherever I put the metal tape over I also put the metal tape over to protect the plastic okay you're making a video dude. yes I'm making a video now here's the other thing so that's the order you want to do it in and the other thing I've done and you can use pipe I just use wood, it's not that big of a deal, but see I put this cross brace in here and I, I just use the same clamp and I put one on this end and then there's two on the other end at an angle just to keep it yeah, more, more uh, gives it some strength. So, so this plastic here, that's the last thing you do. This is the plastic, the ends, once you've got the ends built. That's the plastic you want to put on first. Okay? And the reason being is can you uh, you can kind of see the uh, uh, the 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 trap that holds this plastic in is screwed on top of the wall plastic. So what you do is you, you lay it out and you pull it over and you put some stones or uh, blocks or brick or whatever on the bottom you're not going to rip this plastic so you want you want to pull it down and then you pull it around as tight as you can all the way around that pipe and then I take nails and I nail it to the wood all the way around so that this plastic is really tight and then you're going to screw every four inches you're going to screw that track onto that pipe and then you're going to go do the other end and screw that track on and that's what's going to hold this plastic in and then you can put the top on because that you clip the top into that so i want to show you this so you can do this before uh see how it's almost like a drum right because I pulled it over, and you can see there the uh, the track that gets screwed down, and that holds this end on this end. Then you take the cinch strap, and and, you, and on the two by fours you just put nails, and that'll hold. This plastic's been here for years, and you can see it's still doing real. And we good. Top, we have it. We're taking. You you've got that too. Yes. And this space too. Yes, you have them both. And here I want to show you and show right here how this track pull this plastic back. Now here this is real important. This track has uh, a thin side 
and a lip side. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure, because if you put this on backwards, when the wind blows, it'll pop it right out. If you put it on right, a hurricane can't take this out. So if you put it on backwards, so you see how the, the mm -hmm. there's, there's a straight side and a round side. Because right, you can't, the, 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 it can't be pulled out this way. So you want the round side facing in on both ends. And this piece here in the center comes out and then that's what you screw the track. Every four inches you want to put a screw in right through the, this plastic. Mm -hmm. And then once you've got that in nice and tight, you can cut, like I, you can see I cut all the excess out. You don't need it anymore. From inside? From yeah, on this piece, the not this one. Mm -hmm. And then you put the other one and put the trap. And then, then you snap this in. Mm -hmm. uh, Pressure? Yeah, you, you get it started and then you can take like a, a, a box end wrench, the round part, mm -hmm. not the box part, but the round part. And you can kind of just go right down along and it'll, it'll snap this in as you go. It's a good way to do it. Like, you know, 12 millimeter or something right. and you just go down and you can go all the way down. And, and if you ever need to take the plastic off, that's what you can do. You can take this out and the plastic comes off. Now I've left the, cause you've got a foot on either side. I've left that on here. You can cut it out if you want, but in case I ever have to take this off and put it on, I left it. So I still have strength to pull. Now, when you, when you do it this way, you can see I've got a few wrinkles right here because I didn't get it quite strong. But you can actually stand right on this. And so I, what I do is I, I stand on this because you're not going to tear this. Stand on it. Get it as tight as possible and have somebody go through and drive the nails in. And then move down, stand on it, and have somebody drive the nails in. Because there, there's a 2x6 there's a that goes all the way around the bottom. I forgot to tell you that. We have it already. Okay. We made a box. Oh, he made a box. We help. All right. Well, you gotta make sure your box is square before you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And. Uh, yeah. No, we 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 put it, we put a square on there and you know made, made sure that the angle is. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And so you stand on it, and again, I have blocks, cinder blocks, or something on the other side, weighting that in down stand on this side, nail it in, and go on the other side, and then do the same thing. And you get somebody like me who's really heavy, just do the standing <laughs> and bring it down as tight as possible. And then you've got your greenhouse. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, please, if you have any comments or questions, put them down in the, the notes below. And uh, if you like what we're doing here on the farm, please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and share us. We'd sure appreciate it. Thanks for watching.